One of the ways that you can help people to start using the files in the cloud when using Microsoft 365 is leveraging OneDrive. Microsoft have built in OneDrive into Windows 10 so that you can sign into it with a personal account or a Microsoft 365 account. Why is this important? Because a lot of people still save things on the desktop. Now, I only have a couple of examples here, two documents that I've saved to my desktop just out of convenience, but I might also just be working on a document locally and I save things to my documents folder, or I might save pictures to my pictures folder. So all of these things, they're, they're convenient, right? If you're using a file server, then you're probably gonna get used to working out of a folder structure and a file server as well. How do we bridge this gap? Well, we've signed into OneDrive for Business on the desktop, and we're going to have a look at one other thing that we can do, which is we can synchronize these common folders that we might save things to. Our desktop, our documents, and our pictures. So we'll take a closer look at this, and this will prepare us for a couple of other things that I'll show you when we're working with Microsoft Teams. So, how do we set this up? We have signed into OneDrive on our computers using our Office 365 account. We have a, a list of activity, things that I've recently done within the OneDrive uh, and to set up. I have deleted a few files and shifted a few things around so that they look like they're local and I can show you how we synchronize them to our machines. Uh, one of the steps we're gonna do is go into settings and take a look at the backup tab. Now your organization might have done this for you where they have mapped these folders, your documents, your desktop and your pictures to OneDrive already. And you'll be able to have a clue of this. You'll see that when you're going into your documents folder, then it will have little clouds beside your files that you have saved to OneDrive. But in this case, we haven't got it set up yet. So I encourage you to do so. Let's go to backup and manage backup. Now this small wizard has just given you the option about whether you want to synchronize or manage these folders by backing up the desktop, the documents and the pictures, or you can turn any of them off, right? So maybe I don't want to back up my pictures because I also store videos there. Uh, so I actually, I might actually do that. I'll just turn that off. I'm going to synchronize just my desktop and my documents. Um, and we'll start that backup. Now it's pretty simple. It's uh, ticking away there in the in the background, and because there's not a lot in there, then uh, it's not really going to take long to to save that content up there. But if this is the first time you've done it, and you have a lot of things on your desktop or in your documents folder, it might take a little while. Uh, let's view the sync progress. Uh, looks like we have pretty much finished. Of course, that was 14 seconds ago, and um, we will click OK to close that window. Now, what's the difference? Well. Let's look at pictures to begin with. Remember, I didn't synchronize pictures. And so that's exactly as we saw it beforehand. They're just regular files. What about documents? See the difference here? The difference is that these files now have a little green tick beside them. And if we hover over that status, well, it doesn't actually say anything, but the status means that the file is local and on your machine. And if it was in the cloud, if it was just in, in OneDrive and we had saved it there, then it would just be a little blue cloud. All right, so what else is there? We have also synchronized files on our desktop. Great. So what does this all look like from a cloud perspective? Well, you know, I'm just using this as I normally would for uh, working on files. It's a familiar experience. It's in uh, Files Explorer and it feels just like I'm going into a uh, file server, um, okay, so it's a slightly fancier file server, it's got a nice little icon beside it, but it still feels like I'm going into something like a, a file server with a folder structure within it. Um, let's have a look at that there, actually, if we look at our OneDrive now, we've got desktop and we've got documents. So they both, the folders look like and, and signify that you have redirected or changed where your desktop and your documents folders are and they are synchronizing if we double click into it there we go same same files that we've got on our desktop burger stop receipt spring campaign so that is uh, the quick way to 
set this up to be able to synchronize files from your desktop, your files from pictures and from documents folder. Uh, we're going to cover a few other topics off in, a, in another video about how to synchronize other things to OneDrive. But this is one of the first steps to help people adopt using files within OneDrive. Actually, one other thing I am going to do, I am going to take a look at where those files are within OneDrive on the web. All right, so let's just sign into Office. We're going to OneDrive in the cloud. Tickety tickety tick, boom. And there we have two brand new folders your desktop and your documents. So one advantage of accessing your files from the web browser is that if you start to get used to using the web browser, uh, OneDrive from your web browser, then it's much like Files Explorer for the cloud because not only are you accessing your OneDrive, but you can go into the Teams and document libraries or document folders that are part of your Teams, all from that one location. Easy to go to my files, easy to go to files that I share with a different team. So we're going to have a look at some of these other topics in another video, but those are a few quick tips around how to synchronize content from your desktop up to your OneDrive, common folders, desktop pictures and documents. And remember, this is one way to help other people get familiar with working with files in the cloud in a familiar experience to begin with. We'll see you again soon.